Hello and welcome back to the Pickus Swedes YouTube channel. I will start by taking the liberty to greet myself. Welcome back from a bit of absence from YouTube. I've been on a summer break and spent seven weeks in the Stockholm archipelago with my son. I've been on a parental leave, but I haven't been lazy for that. I have been uh, collecting some cylinders in the meantime, but that's not why we're here today. <clears throat> we also are working on this TKO challenge lock, but hopefully that will be done in next week. It's a tutorial on how to make challenge locks, so I hopefully I will get it done next week. I also have this uh, challenge lock I haven't opened or taken a look at from a fellow picker on Reddit. So I have material, but today for you we will take a look at this uh, Abus padlock code padlock. It's a uh, model 158-50 and uh, it's an 8mm shackle, 50mm wide, it says hardened and it's an ABUS so I, I hope that it is hardened. Yes indeed, barely scratched the surface on this one. It has a double uh, double lo double locking on both both sides cannot be shimmed and uh, the inners of this lock is fairly complex it has a lot of a lot of moving moving parts and so on but as you see it can work the code is now 1063 if I scramble a bit I'm able to lock it and if I go back to Ten, six, three. It's an open. So today we will demonstrate this lock. I cannot take it apart for you, but I have I have found something in here. I think that this is some kind of activation thing that I can I can push and fool the lock to be locked, or maybe not. That's that's something. Maybe it's the hinges of the the mechanism inside, because on these wheels they are they are circular like this Las Vegas chip, but on uh, one part they have ground off a bit or milled, so it's flat on one end and the rest is circular. So you have the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and so on, and that's and the wheel here is milled down. So the f the fork inside the lock it has four fingers, and when they align with this flat part, it springs into action and uh, releases the the locking mechanism. So that is what we're going to exploit here, and I will. Decode it with this. It's a piece of aluminium that I cut from an aluminium can. And uh, there are different ways to do this. Some people prefer to put the shim in right here. I believe I'm going to zoom in for you on the side, and uh, they will uh, they will feel when the when the when the shim moves like this, but I will use another tactic, and I will I will feel here and see if it's rounded or flat, just in between the lock housing and the the code wheel. I feel if this is flat, then I know that I have a flat surface there, and I can decode all four. But since the the spring and the fork mechanism in inside needs to lock in place and it does it from behind I need to add the number 5 to every number I decode so I turn this 180 degrees otherwise it won't unlock so but 
I won't decode it with this code. I will change the code to do that. I have to put the shackle in 90 here. Press it down and now I can scramble it. And of course it's no fun if I can look at the code. So I will cover it up with the towel. Scramble the wheels like so and I will pull up the shackle. Put it down and lock it up. So, like that. I have no idea what the code is. And I have 10,000 10, combinations to go through if I want. But since that takes time and we don't have that much time here. Start by feeling every, every part of the wheel here and see if... Yeah. Definitely a flat surface. Ooh. Whoops! Excuse me, that's my uh, girlfriend looking at TV at ridiculously, ridiculous loud volume and waking up our son. Well, sorry about that. Second code wheel. Okay. Well, Flat again. And this metal is very soft. You can buy decoding tools. I just made this from a one dollar can. Okay, I think that's the spot there at number eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm fairly confident that I have decoded it, but you know, remember I need to add 5 to each one of these, so 1 plus 5 equals 6. Right. Same here. And 8. If I add 5 to this, I will have um, 3 because, you know, 0. 1, 2. Okay. I have to go the other way. But it's okay, I can subtract 5. It doesn't matter. So, the same way. And the 3 here down is. Now a number 8. So now the new code should be 6638. Let's see if the lock is open. Yeah, so that's how you decode the ABUS 158 in a short period of time. And this method works on several ABUS locks, not just this one. I have another lock, I will try to confirm this on, and uh, it's the 16540, but that's for another video. At least for the locks where they have the, the numbers in the middle like this, the code wheels. I believe I had have to have another approach on this one because the code wheel is on the side. I have to research this before. But anyway. That's how you decode the ABUS 15850. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Picky Swede.